Hi Libra, Aditi here with Lodestone Production where we help you discover your true north. So we've got our general reading for January, um, but bear in mind that this is a general reading. So not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? So let's get this party started, shall we? Oh, I didn't tell you. Hold on, you didn't see that. All right, yes, you did. All right, so new format. It's got the overall energy here. It's got past, present, and future energies here. Whoop, whoop. Clarifying cards here. And also sometimes it's a summary, other times it is advice from spirit over here. So first up is number 40, Hiaka. And it reads, let's hold this up close, make sure we're centered. Good. All right. So no enemy shall defeat you, not by night nor by day not upon the earth nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play, be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you even in this moment. These are your sacred powers. And with them, you shall take every step upon your journey successfully and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. Okay, all right, so let's see what we're working with here. By the way, I do not read reversals, so I am going to turn these puppies around, but we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords, and we have the emperor so what i'm getting here and i know i've been hearing this from a lot of readers but your money is on your mind libra you are making better decisions on how to keep your money you're making better decisions on how to obtain it you're finding better ways to invest it and you're doing so six of swords in a way that is not nearly as volatile or erratic as it once was. Like Libras can come into money, yeah. And we like nice things, yeah. But it's, everybody wants to have a shopping montage and it's not always how that goes, right? So with this emperor here, it's like you, you're, you're focusing not only on obtaining it, but also how to have a better relationship with it. And the main purpose is to ease the mind as it pertains to your dough. Okay. So for this 10 of pentacles here, it really is clarified by the 10 of cups the high priestess and the ten of pentacles again when your money is right your heart is right when your money is right you can focus on your spiritual path when your money is right your money is right like and it's not about letting your net worth dictate your self-worth it's but for a long time that's how it's been you've equated your ability to handle things based on the numbers in your bank in your bank account based on 
the amount of money you have in your pocket based on the amount of resources that you have available to you. And with, I'm sorry, with the Hierophant, excuse me, not the High Priestess. And with the Hierophant here, or the High Priest here, it's, it's taking a more, it, it's like you're taking a more spiritual approach. And you recognize, there it is, thank you. You recognize the abundance that comes from spirit. And because of that, because you're recognizing it and you're tapping into it, these are coming, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten, the Ten of Pentacles, the longer money and the long-standing Ten of Cups, the long-standing emotional fulfillment that goes along with it are all as a result of your relationship with source, with the divine, with spirit, and you're recognizing that. So with the Six of Swords, it is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the star, and the Two of Wands. So yes, uh, the Seven of Cups is the card of choice. It's the card of illusion. It's the card of options, right? And some options are great. Some options are great. See, got the familiar hanging out, orb and all. And then some of these other options are empty. Some of the options are empty, but there are options here and there are more available to you now than there once was, which is also giving you a sense of relief star because you're feeling like one these days, you know, there's, there's, there's a heaviness that's been lifted you you're starting to come around and and get back to who you are and like really like who you are and you've chosen to move and take action towards merging with yourself again getting back to getting back to who you were who you are you know, and giving yourself this peace of mind, Six of Swords. So the Emperor is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So, yes, the Nine of Pentacles is the single self-sufficient. I don't need your resources. I can do it myself. Card. Uh, it's the card of luxury. It's, it's about having pride in your own abilities. It'd be nice to have somebody around, but you really don't need it. You know, like if you look at this, she is not only, not only is she dripping in jewels, she's dripping in pentacles. And if you see, if you look, there are kitties all through here. Like this is the cat lady whose house doesn't smell bad. You feel me? And because... This character has been so single and so self-sufficient. You run the possibility of really being closed off and really being short or cutting 
with what you have to say. With the King of Swords here. Now the King of Swords, yes, he, he does have, he's, there's a lot going on between his ears. And he has to, he has to be able to rule and he's used to his words being the final say. And so he uses his words carefully. He doesn't blather on for extended periods of time and try and explain what it is that he's trying to say six or seven times over to make sure that there's no mistake in what it is that he's wanting to get across. Now he just lays it out. This is what it is and this is how it's going to be. And that's it. I have already decided, I've already done the math, I've already done the research. I've divided by seven and carried the two. Here is your answer. And remember that this is clarifying the emperor. Number four, the emperor, right? And then with the two of swords, this is like you are choosing to be in this energy even though it's going to make people uncomfortable because most people are used to Libra sacrificing themselves so that those around them can feel valued, right? But what I'm gathering just from this cluster here is that Libra is ready to make concessions in favor of Libra. And those who have benefited off of Libra's sacrifice for years are going to be taken aback by this, this choice. to call it like it is and to take care of themselves for a change. So what final messages do we have for Libra? We've got the devil We've got the world. We have the Six of Swords again. And we have the Sun. I'm going to bring these closer so that you can see. So we've got the devil card here. The world. Six of swords. And the sun. The thoughts that kept you bound, the societal norms that have kept you restricted, no longer apply.
no is a complete sentence. And you are finally embracing that. And it feels really good. It feels really good. All right, Libra, thank you for spending some of your day with me today. Until we meet again, remember, be good with yourselves, be good to yourselves, and be good to each other, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, Libra.